In the world of robotics, modular kits are a huge hit. <laughs> Just because you get a variety of different robots out of one package. Ah, it's working! Now this one here is the Itty Bitty Buggy by Microduino, a robotic kit at a fraction of a price. Now if you wanted your very own, be sure to check out their link down below in the description. So without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox this thing and see what it's all about. So this here is our packaging and overall it does look pretty cool. You know, it's got all the different creatures you can make on here from a buggy, a ladybug, a sloth, a dodo bird, even an alien. Now overall in terms of a modular kit goes, it does give you a good amount of variation. Now do note this also supports Scratch, Python, and Adreno. And on the back here kind of talks about a little bit more in terms of details. So you have an app that allows you to control it in four different modes including a ranger mode which allows you to control it like an RC car, a cruiser mode allowing you to go ahead and create a line so it can follow that line, voice control mode allowing to give it prompts via voice as well as a musician mode so you can go ahead and play instruments as well. So overall it does seem like a very well-rounded modular kit. So let's go ahead and open this thing up and take a closer look at the contents. Nice! Looks pretty cool. So these here are intricate uh, magnetic blocks so they actually just kind of like magnetically attached to each other uh, and then in addition to that you can actually see the design of this is very close to Legos so you can actually even use Legos on this and expand on top of it. These packets here contain different parts uh, and then we do have a few cables as well as a charging cord. Other than that behind here we have ourselves a map so we can go ahead and have the particular robot follow the line or the course in this case as well as the musical instrument beats as well. So we'll go ahead and start off by building ourselves a buggy. Uh, so check that out. This here is our buggy. Uh, we're going to go ahead and hit play now and see how this works out. So this here is our remote control mode. So we should be able to control it almost like an RC car. So let's go ahead and try to move forward. Back, left, right. And then you can do them both simultaneously. Not bad. And then you have a little horn button. That's kind of cute. Uh, and then we have a few different uh, controls here as well. Uh, so we have ourselves a uh, line tracing. So we're going to go ahead and put it on the map now. And you'll note that it's actually following the line. So that's actually pretty cool. So you can do that and then uh, we can try the music one since we have this already here. So right now it detects green. You can just see the green color underneath it. If I move forward it'll turn blue, yellow, purple, red, etc. Uh, the next thing we can do is we can try voice command. Uh, so we can tell it to like move forward and stop. So let's try this out. Move forward. Stop. <laughs> now let's go ahead and move on and build our dodo bird. All right, so our dodo bird is finally done and it actually looks kind of like a dodo bird. <laughs> uh, so you got these two wings uh, and they're actually hinged to the, the wheels. So whenever the robot moves, the wings should start flapping as well. So let's go ahead and try this out. And yeah, it's working. Look at that. <laughs> it's like going like one of these. <laughs> uh, and then you can also turn it just like this. You could, so it's like almost like waving one way. So that there is our dodo bird. Uh, definitely a very cute looking robot. Love the wings and how it kind of flaps as it moves. So very nice stuff. All right, so next we'll go ahead and build ourselves a sloth and see how this all plays out. He's supposed to climb, so let's see if this can work. All right, so we're all set, ready to go. Uh, I put a string here in the middle just so the sloth can go ahead and climb about. So let's go ahead and try this out. Ah, it's working! Kind of, but it's working. So yeah, there you have it. That is the sloth, which is actually 
pretty cool looking. I mean, you can even see, it actually looks like a slot too, especially with the eyes. Let's go ahead and move on and build ourselves an alien. All right, so we're all set and ready to go. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and play. And let's go ahead and talk to our new little alien friend. Hi. Both hands went up there. Uh, so he also has like touch sensors on there. So he does have the capability to see if you're close by. So if I put my hand a little closer to him, he'll start waving his hand around just like that. Like what happens if we make his sensor touch the ground? Now he becomes a crying alien. I can watch this for hours. Uh, moving on, uh, we can go ahead and finally build the ladybug. All right, so our ladybug is finally complete. Uh, it is kind of difficult to build this one just because it's a little bit more intricate than the others. But let's go ahead and try this out. Now, in terms of controls go, uh, so we have ourselves the remote control. So we can go ahead and control in terms of movement. So we can do front, we can do back. Uh, we can have them rotate. We can rotate the other way. And we can just have them do both at the same time. And then of course you have the horn button. Uh, we can also do line tracing, music, voice control with this particular robot. So kind of gives you an idea what this whole modular kit's about. It's actually kind of fun to see how you can build everything together. Not to mention you can always go ahead and expand on it as well as build your own things. Now, out of the four or five different things that we built, I would have to say the sloth is probably my most favorite just because it's very unique. And then the way it moves is actually kind of fun to see as well. Uh, and then the alien does take the second place just because of obvious reasons. Now, if you guys had any questions about the particular kit, feel free to comment down below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, give it a thumbs down. But either way, be sure to subscribe for more videos. So we'll see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.